you've followed me for long enough, you know that my content is mostly about the trucks that come through these doors, the information we learn about it, and sharing that information with you guys. In this situation though, I'm looking for the experts in a certain field of something I'm not very familiar with, and that is truck toolboxes. There are so many size, shape, options, colors, all kinds of things when you search toolbox on Google. We've installed a couple, but it was more or less the customer saying, hey, here's what I want, put it in, done, easy. My fourth gen is finally due for a toolbox instead of taking tools in and out, in and out. I just need to put a box in it. Also, peep that super clean third gen. Rocking the classic mud grabs. We're gonna do a few upgrades on this and get it looking even better. Toolbox, toolbox, yes. Now I have a short bed to work with, so I'm very conscious on how much space I'm taking up up front. This truck sees two pallets pretty much once a month and I already have to put the tailgate down and it's almost to the edge of the tailgate. So I'm really conscious on how much space I lose. There's about two options that I have found that I like so far. It is very shallow in terms of how much bed space it takes. It's only super small, like 10 inches or something. Downside is this is a crossover, meaning it uses these two lips over here to hang on the side of the bed. Downside of that is you can't run the tonneau cover unless you get a special one. And it does stick up over the bed so you will see it. Now it is a low profile design where these corners here, they stay down real tight to the bed, but still you do see it from the side. It's nice because it only hangs down 18 inches so you can still shove stuff underneath of it if you want to. And it only takes up 12 inches off the cab. So you're only losing like a foot of bed space. Another downside would obviously be capacity is a little bit lower than what a bigger box would be. Option number two is gonna be a chest style that would sit down into the bed, bolted to the bed floor. Downside is you lose your bed floor space. Plus side is you no longer can see the toolbox. It's hidden in there and you can still use the existing tonneau cover. At least I can use the one I already have. It's cool with the wedges too that you see in the corners there. You can now get your hooks in the corner of your bed still, so all that's still completely accessible. Downside is right there, you can see this thing is gonna sit out about 20 inches off the, you know, the back of the bed towards the cab. So it is gonna take up some serious space. Right here is 20 inches, so you cut that off. That becomes a pretty small bed. Little UWS one would only go to there. So you still do keep a good amount of bed space. And like I said, that pocket underneath the toolbox, I can still use it for say I put lumber in here or a ladder or something, it still goes to the front. Like I was saying with a wedge, with that wedge coming out here, it would still give me access to this corner right here to strap stuff to. Yes, I have all the hooks I installed here, but I don't trust them as much as I do that factory one. This truck has a good example of the normal style toolbox. That's not low profile, so you can see it sticks up a good bit. Same with that one down there, a little more low profile. So TikTok, do your thing. Spread this video to anyone that might have information on this, experience on this. I greatly appreciate it.